my dear friends and my students today we will explain the molecular orbital theory from the chapter chemical bonding of class 11 for the aspect of neat and j okay so here i am drawing uh, things uh, that is the molecular di orbital diagram of the oxygen molecule okay so before uh, to understand that molecular orbital theory first of all you have to know what is uh, atomic orbital and what is molecular orbital you know that these things these are the atomic orbitals okay uh, that is atomic orbitals in like uh, 1s 2s 2p these are the atomic orbitals so as in atom atomic orbital is there very similarly in the molecules molecular orbital also there so yeah molecular orbitals as uh, in atomic orbital they are represented as 1s 2s 2p very similarly in the molecules they are also represented as like 1s 1s star 2s 2s star like that and what is the uh, well, sigma 1s and sigma 2s and sigma 1 star sigma 2 star what does it mean see star means the anti bonding orbitals and the uh, without star means the bonding orbitals as atomic orbital molecular orbital also have two types of molecular orbital one is the bonding molecular orbital another one is the anti bonding or molecular orbital so the star is given is actually the uh, bond, uh, anti bonding molecular orbital and without star okay these things are the actually the bonding molecular orbital and after that you have to find that how can you find the bond order so for the bond order there is a formula that is the half of bonding electrons minus anti bonding electrons and after that how can you find the magnetic property magnetic property is the unpaired if in the molecular orbitals okay in the molecular orbitals there is unpaired electron then it is paramagnetic and if there is all the electrons are paired then it is diamagnetic see here in this case for the case of oxygen molecule so here uh, there are two unpaired electrons so this is actually paramagnetic in nature so how can you write the electronic configuration for writing the electronic configuration see uh, electronic configuration sigma 1s sigma 1s star sigma 2s sigma 2s star sigma 2pz pi 2px pi 2py like that okay see uh, these are the actually this is the energy okay so in this way energy increases so the energy of uh, sigma 1s and sigma 1 star means sigma 1 star having a higher energy than that of sigma 1 s very similarly sigma 2 s star having the higher energy than that of sigma 2 s like that okay so this is in this way you can write the electronic configuration now uh, to understand the molecular orbital uh, theory will uh, take uh, oxygen molecule okay oxygen molecule so in the oxygen molecule we have two oxygen atom okay and for one oxygen atom the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p4 now see here these are the atomic orbital okay for the oxygen atom so he, this is one oxygen atom this is another oxygen atom see these two are the atomic orbitals and these are the molecular orbital of the oxygen molecule so here in the oxygen atom in 1s you have two electron in 1s you have two electron in 2s you have two electron in 2p you have four electron so in 1s you give uh, two electron another oxygen atom two electron 2s two electron 2s two electron and 2p you have four electrons so here you give one two three and four electron and here also you give one two three and four electrons so see in total in 1s how many electrons four electrons so these four electrons you have to give in the molecular orbital so you have two molecular orbitals one is bonding another one is anti bonding bonding one is one which has the lesser energy than that of the atomic orbital see this is the bonding or molecular orbital which has less energy than that of molecular orbitals the atomic orbitals sorry atomic orbitals so these are the molecule uh, orbital which has less energy than that of atomic orbitals this is anti bonding molecular orbital which is higher energy than that of atomic orbitals very similarly here also now you have to remember one thing see in the case of oxygen molecule what is the total number of electron for oxygen molecules 8 plus 8 that is 16 okay 16 electron okay so how can you uh, represent these electrons in the molecules okay see in 1s you have four electrons so you give two electron here two electron here very similarly in case of 2s you you have four electrons you give two electron here you have two electron here give two electron here now see in the case of 2p how many electrons are there in the 2p there are uh, here four electron here four electron total means eight electrons so how can you uh, re uh, give uh, these eight electrons in the molecular orbitals so here first uh, one electron here second electron here according to Hohn's rule so uh, third one is here fourth one here fifth sixth seventh and eighth okay and if you have more than uh, more than eight electron like uh, nine ten or eleven two like that so uh, after eight nine electron come here ten here eleven here and twelve here like that so 
you have to remember one thing you just note uh, note down these things okay you just pause the video and note down these things and after that you have to remember one thing that if a molecule if a molecule having uh, uh, total number of electron is 14 okay total number of electron is okay total total electrons is equals to 14 for that you have to uh, means for the electronic configuration what you have to do you have to just uh, remember that uh, sigma 1s and sigma 1s star sigma 2s sigma 2s star then uh, after that pi 2px is equals to pi 2py then sigma 2pz and then pi star 2px is equals to pi star 2py and then sigma star 2pz so you have to follow this rule okay you have to follow this rule means just uh, change, interchange these two here other things are remain same other things are remain same just interchange these two because uh, for up, uh, uh, up to 14 electrons pi 2px equals to pi 2py having less energy than that of sigma 2pz so in this way you just uh, write the electronic configuration and for after 14 means if the total electron total electron is greater than 14 okay total electron greater than 14 then you have to follow this electronic configuration okay this after uh, after uh, sigma 2 has start then you just write this one sigma 2pz and then pi 2px equals to pi 2py means uh, if total electron is less than 14 then uh, this one come here this one come here okay means interchange these two and if the total electron is uh, more than 14 then uh, this is remain same and other things also remain same for both cases okay so you just remember these two things for this uh, uh, for the molecular orbital theory now you have to remember one thing that uh, <coughs> these are the actually this o2 molecule is actually the uh, means uh, uh, homonuclear molecules okay so by this way you can uh, calculate the molecular orbital theory for like uh, you have say you have a b2 molecule you have a c2 molecule you have uh, means n2 molecule you have o2 you have uh, say um, f2 molecule and n2 molecule for this molecule these are the homonuclear molecules all the both both the uh, nucleus are same means boron and boron carbon and carbon nitrogen nitrogen oxygen oxygen Fluorine, fluorine, neon, neon, like that. And for the ions also, you just do like that. O2 plus, O2, 2 plus, O2 minus, O2, 2 minus. For these molecules, you have, also you can calculate the uh, molecular orbital theory. See, for the case of O2 plus molecules, see, this is actually the O2 molecule. Now, for the case of O2 plus molecule, what does it mean? It means one electron is less. Means in the atomic orbital electrons are remain same, but in the molecules there is one electron is less. So in that case, what you have to do, you just uh, replace last electron from the from this molecular orbital. All the other things remain same. Okay, so this is nothing but actually the O2 plus molecule. And if it is O2 2 plus, then again you replace another electron from here, then O2 2 plus. Okay, now if uh, O2 minus, O2 minus, then this is actually O2. This is actually O2 now. And if you uh, have one electron extra in the molecule, what does it mean? You give one electron here. And if you uh, have O2 2 minus, then you give another electron here. Okay. So in this way, you just uh, write the molecular orbital diagram for the molecules. Okay. Now, for the case of heteronuclear molecule, heteronuclear molecule like uh, say ha you have, um, say you have a Bn. Okay. B N N O, uh, then uh, C N, okay, then uh, say you have uh, uh, C O, then C O plus. These type of molecules, these are heteronuclear. Two different nucleus are present: boron nitrogen in this molecule, nitrogen oxygen in this molecule, carbon nitrogen in this molecule. So these are heteronuclear molecules. For the case of heteronuclear molecules, all the things are remain same, but uh, you have for the electronic configuration you have to follow the rules which are given in uh, less than 14 electrons okay less than 14 electrons which rules is given that you have to follow for the heteronuclear molecules now for the case of co and co plus for the case of these two only co and co plus 
you have to remember that see actually for these molecules for these molecules electronic configuration is like that sigma 1s sigma 1s star sigma 2s sigma uh, 2s star and then uh, uh, your uh, pi 2px is equals to pi 2py then sigma 2pz then pi star 2px is equals to pi star 2py then uh, sigma sigma uh, star 2pz this is the uh, way how can you write the electronic configuration for these uh, molecules heteronuclear molecules but if the heteronuclear molecule you uh, are co and co plus then in that case one thing is you have to uh, uh, just uh, consider that uh, your sigma 2s star orbital having higher energy than that of your uh, pi 2px and and pi uh, pi 2px equals to pi 2py and sigma 2pz orbitals. So here you have to just uh, uh, after that uh, this uh, sig uh, sigma 2 uh, uh, sigma 1 is sigma 1 star sigma 2s and then you write uh, pi 2px is equals to pi 2py and then uh, uh, sigma 2pz and after that you write uh, sigma 2s star here and then pi 2px is equals to pi 2py which is given as star okay now and after the, you also have a sigma star 2pz okay these things you also have okay sigma star 2pz so this is the, uh, these things you have to remember for these two molecules co and co plus heteronuclear molecules so for these two heteronuclear molecules you have to follow this rule okay say uh, now say in the case of carbon monoxide molecule carbon monoxide molecule in carbon how many molecules you, uh, how many electrons you have in carbon what is the atomic number of carbon see this is 6 plus oxygen is 8 so uh, uh, means uh, um, uh, 14 electrons okay 14 electrons so how can you give 14 electrons in sigma 1 you give 2 means as atomic orbital uh, you give a maximum number of electrons is 2 so here also you give 2 electrons in maximum okay so since sigma 1 is you give 2 electrons in sigma 1 star you give 2 electrons here also 2 electrons how many electrons you give 2 2 2 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay and if it is a uh, co plus if it is co plus then there is 13 electrons total 13 electrons then you just give here one electron okay so in this way you just write the electronic configuration for the heteronuclear molecule also so in this way just uh, you uh, calculate the uh, how can you write the draw the uh, molecular orbital diagram for different molecules now so how can you find the bond order okay see how can you find the bond order for this oxygen molecule so for this uh, oxygen molecule in uh, bond order means you know that bond order means half of a bonding electron bonding electrons minus anti bonding electrons okay so bond order see these are the bonding electrons okay these are the bonding and here these are the anti bonding so how many electrons are present in the case of uh, oxygen molecule in the case of oxygen molecule in the bonding there are 10 electrons if you calculate then you find them 10 electrons how two electron here two plus two plus 2 means 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 electrons here and in the anti bonding how many electrons 2 plus 2 4 5 6 6 electrons okay so half into 4 it means 2 so bond order for O2 molecule is 2 okay so in this way you can find the bond order and what is the magnetic property it is paramagnetic why it is paramagnetic because in the molecular orbitals you have unpaired electrons if in the molecular orbitals now forget about the atomic orbitals just see the molecular orbitals in the molecular orbitals if you have unpaired electron then it is paramagnetic and if there is uh, all the electrons are paired like that if all the electrons are paired like that then it is diamagnetic okay but here in this oxygen molecule all uh, there are two unpaired electrons that's why this is paramagnetic in nature so in this way just you can find the bond order and uh, 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 bond order and uh, magnetic property of the molecules by using molecular orbital theory now uh, in uh, in your question uh, in your examination if a question may be like that that uh, the arrange uh, o, o2 o2 plus o2 2 plus o2 minus o2 2 minus these molecules according to their increasing okay increasing bond order increasing bond order so for that to calculate the bond order you have to uh, draw uh, and for that say they giving you the one mark only 
okay giving one more tool so how can you uh, do this so how can you find the bond order for these uh, molecules uh, if you draw the oxygen molecule oxygen plus molecule two plus molecules in this way then lots of time required so that's why uh, there is a trick to how can you find the bond order and by using that trick you just very easily in a very little time that you calculate the bond order okay see uh, if the total electron in the molecule is 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. If bond order, the total electron is 14, then bond order is 3. Just remember, and for 13, it is 2.5, 12, 2.0, 11, 1.5, 10, uh, 1.0, 9, 0 0.5, 8, 0. Okay, very similarly for 15, it is 2.5, this is uh, 2.0 and this is uh, 1.5, this is 1.0, this is 0 0.5 and this is 0. Means 14, for 14, total number of electrons is 14, then bond order is 3 and after if you, total number of electrons is uh, just uh, becoming uh, 13, 12, uh, for that just 0.5 will decrease. Very similarly, if total number of increases by uh, one then it, uh, it the bond order will decreases by, uh, decreases by 0 0.5 okay so you just remember this trick okay now see uh, for the oxygen molecule how many electrons in the oxygen molecule total of electron is 16 so the bond order is 2 okay and O2 means how many electrons 15 so for 15 the bond order is 2.5 for O2 2 plus O2 2 plus means 16 2 electron less okay as 2 means 14 electrons so 14 the bond order is 3 and for O2 minus means 17 electrons, one bond order is 1.5. O2 2 minus means 18 electrons, bond order is 1. Okay, so now you can uh, easily write the bond order in the increasing uh, way that first you uh, O2 2 minus and then uh, O2 minus and then O2 and then O2 plus and then O2 2 plus. So this is the increasing order, uh, increasing bond order. Okay, by this way you just uh, can, uh, just uh, write down the, you can find the bond order very easily. So for the case of heteronuclear molecule, uh, very uh, very uh, means in this way you can find the bond order for the heteronuclear molecule also. Say for the case of uh, CN. Okay, for the case of CN. See in the carbon how many electrons? Six nitrogen seven. Okay, means thirteen electrons. So, if it is 13 electrons, so the bond order is 2.5. So, for CN, it is 2.5. And for the case of NO, okay, for the case of N, N means 7 plus 8. So, this is equals to 15 electrons. So, in the case of 15 electrons, the bond order is also 2.5. So, in this way, you can find the bond order for the heteronuclear molecule also. Now, now uh, you can, uh, how can you find the uh, magnetic property? It is paramagnetic or diamagnetic. How can you find it? So, to find the magnetic property, you just have remember that uh, if in the molecule total number of electrons is even, okay, total number of uh, electrons in the molecule total number of electrons is even, then it is diamagnetic, okay, diamagnetic, and if the total uh, number of electrons is odd, then it is paramagnetic, okay, then it is paramagnetic. And here you have to remember one thing, okay. Total number of electrons is if 10 and 16, okay, 10 and 16, they are actually even, okay, but they are paramagnetic, they are paramagnetic. So, you have to remember these things, okay. So, 10 electrons and 16 electrons are even number, but they are actually paramagnetic in nature. So, in this way, you just uh, calculate the bond order, okay, and uh, uh, you find the magnetic moment magnetic uh, properties that is paramagnetic or diamagnetic and one thing you have to remember that uh, that bond order bond order is inversely related to bond length bond length and bond order is proportional to bond dissociation energy okay bond dissociation energy okay bond order is the, one thing is bond order is inversely proportional to bond length and bond order is uh, proportional to bond dissociation energy. So you have to remember these things. So if uh, these things uh, are very important for the aspect of NEET and JE. So if you remember these things then you can uh, easily calculate uh, the 
the question are coming from the molecular orbital theory in your joint entrance examination also for your board examination so thank you and if you like the video then also like it and share with your friends and also subscribe the channel so that you just and also press the bell icon so that you just get the new notifications when new video will come from this in this channel okay thank you very much